Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right. NASCAR Cup Series, Shriners Children's 500K from Phoenix International Raceway, 312 miles, 312 laps, three stages, 60, 125, and 127. Whew, we had qualifying yesterday. We had Xfinity race yesterday. I am now 4-0 on the Xfinity race picks this year with Chandler Smith picking that big one up yesterday. I won three in the truck series, one and two with Kyle Larson winning last Sunday in the Cup Series. Um, with qualifying yesterday, as you see, I'm wearing my Denny Hamlin shirt. Um, so, Denny Hamlin went in the pole. His teammate, Ty Gibbs, on the outside. Both those fast Toyota TRDs. And then Chase Elliott. Eric Jones, fourth. That's an amazing run for that Toyota team. William Byron, Tyler Reddick, Noah Gregson, Chase Briscoe, Michael McDowell, and Carson Hussop are out of the top ten, which is absolutely amazing. Um... Ryan Blaney back in 16th. We know he won the championship here last year. Kyle Larson, who has done well here, <laughs> is qualified 17th. And I laugh at the Kyle Larson part because of this. In his last six, or um, he's at eight wins in the next gen era. And in those, in the last six of those, excluding yesterday, so in six, the last six of those wins, are excluding last week. So, in his last six wins, not including last week at uh, Vegas, his last six wins prior to that, the next race, four times, he finished 30th or worse. Also, in that six wins, three times, the race before he won, he finished 30th or worse. And I do believe, let's pull that up here. The race before the win, which which uh, was at Atlanta, he finished 32nd. So if he keeps his streak alive, he's going to not do well here. But you know, it's four of the last six, but two of them he finished second. So we'll we'll, we'll see what he does from there. Um, Brad K back in 18, John Hunter 19th, um, Bob Wallace 22nd, Logano 23rd. He has had a bad year. It's amazing. I'm just Bad luck he's had. Kyle Busch, 31st in qualifying. Corey LaJoy, 35th. We know Josh Berry spun during qualifying. Um, so, yeah, he's at the back. So, we have some fast cars in the back of the pack for this qualifying. So, that could be could be intri intriguing watching them try to come through the field. Pit strategy. And all that's going to take effect. We know how that happens at Phoenix. So, the last, which is another weird stat. In 2023, both races were won by Chevrolet. In 2022, both races were won by Ford. In the last two spring races, whoever had the whoever led the most laps didn't win the race. Three of the last four races at Phoenix, the winner. So this is all together. So it's fall and spring. So three of the last four. So the four next gen era races, the winner led the final 24 or more laps. Um, so yeah, I mean, typically it seems like in the spring, if you lead the most laps, you don't win the race. At Phoenix in the next gen era, which again, the last four races, 22 and 23, the winner is led three times, 24 or more laps at the very end. So, unless we have some wonky green white checkers at the end, whoever's leading with about 20, 25 to go, more than likely is going to go ahead and win the race. I know everyone likes to complain. Everyone likes to say, well, all you got to do is this. All you got to do is this. You got drivers coming out and saying, all you got to do is give more horsepower. That'll fix it all. So my only thing is, and and I guess Denny Hamlin put out, and I comment on this tweet, um, on X post, whatever you want to call it, that all you got to do is call Doug Yates and up the horsepower and it won't cost anything and be done next week. Here's the problem with that statement. Denny Hamlin doesn't drive a Ford. What about HMS? What about RCR, ECR engines? What about, I mean, there, there's more than just Doug Yates out there. Um, what happens if you up the horsepower, say 100 horsepower, and it doesn't change anything? Then what? Well, but 200, then what? So they're, they're trying other things first because I'm not an engineer, but I know if you up the horsepower, you've got to change parts in the engine to make it more reliable. You've got to get that horsepower from the engine to the wheel, to the tires. So you got to work on the transaxle. you got to work on the gearing. you got to work on the tires. you got to work on... <laughs> there, there's the afterflow. 
NASCAR is trying things. Plain and simple, they are. I don't think the racing is that bad, to be honest with you. What I'm afraid people are doing, they're comparing it to a different era. They're comparing it to whatever era they like, or whatever era they started watching racing. Go back and watch the NASCAR Classics and watch some of these old races. They're not as good as you thought they were. Pieces are yes. One or two races are yes. But not all of them. You don't have that many just people just, just passing at will like people want. Oh, the airbag should be able to pass at will. But here's the thing, though. If everyone's passing at will, that means they're not racing. They're just passing. They're just all day long. Then what? How does that benefit one or the other? I can pass at will, so if I'm second, I want to pass the leader, so the leader can't pass nobody, so I'm going to win the race. Yeah, I, I don't understand that, but whatever. There's smarter people in NASCAR than I am that will figure it out. They have for well, 75 years now, so we'll see. Anyway, back to Phoenix. Um, 2023 at Phoenix, average finishes, Ryan Blaney 2.0. William Meyer, 2.5 in a win. Kyle Larson, 3.5. Chris Buescher, 10.0. Michael McDowell, 10.0. Martin Short Jr., 11.5. Bubba Wallace, 12.0. Ross Chastain, 12.5 in a win. Tyler Reddick, 12.5. Alex Bowman, 13.0. That's the average finishes. That doesn't tell the full picture. Now, average ready position at Phoenix, both races for the last year. William Byron averaged running position for the entire race, both races all together. 2.9. Kyle Larson, 3.1. Ross Chastain, 5.4. Ryan Blaney, 6.8. Denny Hamlin, 7.7. Chris Buescher, 9.4. Brad Keselowski, 9.8. Eric Jones, 10.4. Mark Trix Jr., 11.5. Bubba Wallace, 12.0. The four races with the next gen car at Phoenix. Average finish position. Ryan Blaney, 2.5. Three, what is it? Three seconds and a fourth. William Byron, 7.2 in a win. Ross Chastain, 7.5 in a win. Chase Briscoe, 9.0 in a win. He got his first career win two years ago here. Joe Legato, 9.5 in a win. Kyle Busch, 11.7. Kyle Larson, 12.5. Chris Buescher, 12.7. Tyler Reddick, 12.7. And Denny Hamlin, 13.0. After three races, we have Chris Buescher, 23rd in points. Joe Logano, 24th in points. Brad Keselowski, 28th in points. Currently, Kyle Larson is leading in points. Now, I know everyone says, well, when you're in, points don't matter. Yeah, they actually do. Because the regular season points leader gets 15 bonus points. Each position, therefore, down 2nd through 10th, get 10, 9, 8, etc., all the way down to 1. So if you're 10th in points and you get one extra bonus point over the whoever finishes 11th in points, and you beat that person to one of the rounds of playoffs by one point, that bonus point you got because of points in the regular season mattered. If we have 17 different winners, 16 different winners, or seven, sorry, 17 different winners, that 17th, 16th, 17th spot in the playoffs is going to be based on points. Whoever's higher in points gets the position you really got to win. So a win, as long as there's less than 16 winners and a regular season champion who does not, who wins a race, you're fine. But the what if, what if this happens? There has been, we've had 16 different regular season winners in 2022. We had 14 last year, or 13, 14 different winners because SVG won, but he wasn't playoff eligible. So yeah, it can happen. It's going to happen one of these years. We've came really darn close. So I think points do matter more than some people think they do. Ryan Blaney is minus eight. Martin Truex Jr. minus 14. William Byron with that win is minus 15. Ross Chastain minus 20, Kyle Busch 23rd, minus 23, Chase Elliott minus 23 and 7th, Dino Suarez with a win, minus 28th and 8th, Ty Gibbs minus 31, Denny Hamlin minus 31. So right now, if for the playoffs, those are the ones that would get playoff points. So Ty Gibbs, Denny Hamlin, they're basically tied. And so if one of those had a win and one didn't, that's an extra bonus point, 9th to 10th. Austin Center, 11th, minus 32. Tyler Reddick, 12th, minus 34. Alex Bowman, 13th, minus 36. Bubba Wallace, 14th, minus 42. Eric Jones, minus 47. And John Hunter, minus 50. So after three races, both Legacy Winter Club are in the top 16. And then we have Corey LaJoy, minus 2 from the playoffs. 
Ricky Stenhouse minus four. Uh, Daniel Hemrick minus ten. Nineteenth. So let's shout out to Daniel Hemrick. I mean, he's getting top twenty finishes. He's in a team that, yes, they're a tier one Xfinity team, but they're not a tier one Cup team, and everybody knows that, and they even know that. But you know what? The team has two wins. That team, talking about Collie Grayson in the Cup car, two charters, two wins. They're sitting currently nineteen to points. Yeah, they're not a pushover team, but they're not one of the elite teams. They're kind of right in the middle, but I think they're building and working their way up. Again, I'm going to say it here. I think in 2025, that 16 cup car for uh, Carlick Racing will have Shane Van Giesbergen driving it. Just a hunch. Um, Chris Buescher is 20th. I'm sorry. Chase Briscoe is 20th minus 15, and Christopher Bell 21st minus 16. Still early, I know. We still have 23 races in the regular season to go. Um, so NASCAR fantasy lineup here. Uh, for those of you that play NASCAR fantasy, um, I'm in five different leagues. Uh, they are Rob from Missouri is the name on them all. Rob Sports Show, Rob from Missouri. When I call in the next NASCAR radio, like once a week. Um, so I'm in the TMD NASCAR league with uh, Mike Bagley, Pete Pistoni, and the boys. I'm in NASCAR Fantasy, Fantasy Fast Lane. I'm in Way She Goes. I'm in Series XM Racing FRP Fantasy Racing Preview with Pete Pistoni. And then I'm in the MRN Inside Line with the guys and gals of MRN. So in the TMD League, I am not doing well at all. No, 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 I'm not. Um, let's, find, let's see here. League standings. I am currently 1,965th out of 4502. I got 431 points, so yeah. Not great, but you know what? We're going to work on that. So, my fantasy lineup for the Shiner, Shriners Children's 500 is we're going to go with Kyle Larson. We're going to go with William Byron, Ross Chastain, Ryan Blaney, Mr. Denny Hamlin himself. He is on the pole. I am wearing his short. And then we are going to go with... Mr. Christopher Bell in the garage and what the garage pick does for you is so if Larson, Byron, Chastain, Blaney, or Hamlin before the end of stage two are not running well, I would move move Mr. Christopher Bell in and take their place to help the fantasy lineup. Obviously, if two or more of those five don't run well, I'm just screwed that week. So Larson, Byron, Chastain, Blaney, Hamlin, and Bell in the garage. And then on the feature matchups of 10-point picks, I got Blaney over Chastain. I got Hamlin over Elliott. Bell over Kyle Busch. And Ty Gibbs over Alex Bowman. And then the four picks that we do right here in Robert Sports Show are um, going to be Ryan Blaney, William Byron, Kyle Larson, and Denny Hamlin. Yes, I put that stat out there. Kyle Larson in the last seven wins beyond this week, besides the last week, Four times she finished third or fourth in the next race, but yet I'm ruining my four picks. I'm picking him because he has an average finish of 3.1. That's just a stat I found, and I was just putting it out there. In my car, Kyle Larson fan, oh, hell no, not. Kyle Larson and Ryan Priest are the two drivers that I want nothing to do with, but you know what? I'm not stupid. I know with an average finish, an average running position at 3.1 at Phoenix, he needs to be in a fantasy lineup. He needs to be a pick to win because he can win the race. But that's how I pick. That's what I'm doing. That is Shriner Children's 500K preview. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. And don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports center content.